Hello, how are you? Yes. I came a little early, but two minutes after. <laughs> how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Welcome. Good Hello. How was your day? Pretty fine. What about yours? I was busy as always preparing your class because I always get excited. I said, I have a class today. And so that's that's uh, good. Well, welcome to the to the session number 12. Okay, this is session number 12 for, and remember that this course, uh, we're finishing on next week on Thursday. So we just, uh, the last unit, I believe it's unit 10 or unit 10, yes. Uh, section four, section four. So that will be next week. So please uh, work on the assignments. I was checking the platform and it's the same topics that we have been studying. But if you uh, want to be more comfortable about doing the topics over there, check the video that they have put over there, the explanation video, okay? So don't feel that you are the, um, uh, you're putting me aside, okay? Check the video and everything. Okay, so welcome, welcome. And let me share for you this one. And I send you a document over there. Where, did you download it? In WhatsApp? It was a Word document because today I, I want you to work on a breakup rooms for about 20 minutes doing what I, I have planned over there, uh, getting a discussion and so. Okay, uh, the document that I sent you, let me share it for a while with you, uh, very briefly, is, is this one. So you had the, the rules of how to form the, the, the past participle, okay, uh, the past perfect that we saw yesterday. Well, we're discussing and we're going to do it very uh, briefly today because I want you to go. So you had the way that it is, the chart, and I put, it, I put the, the, the task with you with, along with the exercises that we discussed yesterday. And for you just to remind, remember that I hear, um, uh, I make a joke and I said, but uh, if we're studying the past perfect, where is it? If we're using simple past or past continuous on column A, ah, because uh, the, the, remember that the past perfect happened before another action, okay? So I came to my house and a rover, uh, and a teeth had broken in. So what's happened first? That the teeth broke into my house, okay? So that's that's why uh, the past perfect is on the second column and not on the on the first one. Remember that I, I, even I make a joke. And then uh, we are going to read. So on the reading, you're going to get a group of three or four max. And you're, uh, this is a step one you're going to discuss what uh, discuss what are tabloides, okay? Mm, what are tabloides? Well, does anybody have an idea what tabloides are? Is like there some... In the newspaper? Yeah, in the newspaper, in the newspaper. And for example, what do people write about it? There, there, there is a word over there. Uh, tabloids are newspaper that specializes in news about people. The stories are often. So what tabloids contain? The stories about people, okay? In fact, I was reading some tabloids from Washington Post and it's talking nowadays, you know, in the United States, the situation with Donald, with Donald Trump and what happened with the Camara de Senado. So th those are tabloids that they give stories about certain things. And some of the tabloids at the end leave you like a question. 
could this really be true? Okay, because remember that even last time, uh, a couple of days ago, someone you said, ah, because they are two amarillistas. And uh, so, and sometimes they leave you this one. So step number two, uh, you're going to check over here, and this is a Word document, you can do it. I, I look at the first paragraph uh, below oh, this one, okay? And then what kind of story can you find in a tabloid? And you check more than once, okay? Maybe there are two of these ones are correct, three or four, or maybe all, I don't know, okay? So that's, that's the thing that you're going to discuss in your group. And step number three, you're going to uh, go on a reading practice. What I, I call it reading practice, that I read in a loud voice and other people are listening to me and at the same time, I listen to myself. So for example, that we, uh, we read the first paragraph, then Natalie read the second one. If you are working in group of three, uh, Ada will read the next one. And then David start reading the other one, and then Natalie again, and then Eva. And at the end, you can discuss, uh, uh, for example, I, I, in your own words, you're going to say each other, what are the, 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 the stories about, okay? Uh, what are the stories about, okay? So, and that's it. Those, those steps are going to be good. And then you have a vocabulary over there that is from the reading, okay? So, comprende? Yes, I am. Okay, <laughs> so far so good, people say. <laughs> okay, guys, but before you go over there, uh, before we go over there, let me see how many people, 20. Well, I'll, I'll take the attendance uh, late, a little later on, before you go on the chat room, maybe. Um, but let me share with you. Uh, with you, this one. Sharing audio. Okay, this is ses session number 12. Okay, uh, out of 16, so we're just missing four sections. So that's what I'm, I was suggesting you to work on it. So, um, do you write the story? Do you write the story? Yes, that teacher. Ah, okay, good, David. Who else? Who else wrote the story? Uh huh. I will ask for about uh, three participants, volunteers, that tell them your own words. So read the story that you wrote uh, about it, okay, to the rest of us. Uh huh. I write it better the discussion for discussion ah. on, on the platform. Ah, okay. You you write questions about the, this uh, to discuss with your with your uh, with your peers with your classmates. Saul, so, the discussion in the in the platform. Ah, there is an exercise. Ah, <laughs> there is an exercise about it. Yeah. Ah, okay, good. You see, we're not lost on that one. Thank you. <laughs> I feel uh, uh, good now because you're not lost on it. Okay, so, uh -huh. and who wants to share, David or Saul? Who wants to share first, briefly? In just a couple of minutes. Okay, David, go ahead, share with us. <laughs> okay, teacher. Go ahead. It says, days before July 11th, 1991, local news programs in El Salvador alerted the population that there would be a total eclipse in the territory. The newscasters recommended not looking direct directly at the eclipse because it could cause 
blindness. They recommended how to look without damaging the eyesight uh, through recycle, recyclable devices or projecting shadows through holes on surfaces. Some young people in the north of Chalatenango did not take the warnings about not looking directly, and they have suffered severe damage, damage, damage. to their eyes. Some were rushed to the El Salvador Hospital in San Salvador. <laughs> That's it, teacher. Okay, what do you think? The rest of you, what do you think about David's uh, story? Uh -huh. Just give an opinion, of course, being respectful. Okay, David, personally, I think it's a great job. It's a great job. It's fantastic. Okay, you wrote about this eclipse and where people, I don't understand, I don't understand me, but it's me. If, why people say, yeah, I haven't heard if a scientist says that, if you will look as, uh, straight up uh, the eclipse, uh, we will go blind. I don't understand it. Do you? Teacher, um, it's, um, it's okay when the eclipse is in, in when the sound, in, como decirlo, Cuando el sol está totalmente eh, oculto. Ah, when the, okay. sun, uh -huh, when the sun is behind the moon. That's what happened, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's okay. But um, slowly the moon moves and the, the, rays, the sun rays mm -hmm. can damage your eyes. Oh, that the, is, that's uh, the reason. Uh -huh. The blue rays, uh, the blue rays or sun uh, rays, uh, something like that. Ah, yeah, okay. that is. Mm -hmm. That is the warning, not to look directly at the tips. Oh, okay. I, I see. Because uh, I remember one in 1992. It was a long time ago. I was in San Francisco, and that got like, uh, when this eclipse happened, it was like midnight. It was completely dark. All the, all the cars and everything. I was driving over there. And with the lights on, <laughs> and of course you're very young. You, 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 maybe you don't know about it. Okay, yeah. Okay, ladies, um, what do you think about it, ladies? Maybe, maybe let the sun have a lot of. Uh... UV mm -hmm. uh, light. Ah, okay. So, in fact, you say it correct better than me. UV uh, lights, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Saul, uh, do you want to tell us uh, your story a little bit in, uh, in, a, in a few minutes, maybe like two minutes? Teacher, but mine is different. It's, I forgot. The you say the the, the history ne, ne, about ne, El Salvador. That's okay. That's My, okay. Mine uh -huh. is like it's here a, a video like it's around the camp campfire something like that. Ah, okay. But uh, tell us uh in, in a minute or so in your own words. You're not uh, telling my, the whole story. I just try. I don't know if it's, I will try. Mm -hmm. These were such a lovely family, so very friendly. They got farm on the place, but one day it was a, a very hot, dry summer, and fireworks in the in the in the house got a flames. Also, can't think about his wife, and she was inside the house, and then a scream came from inside the big flames. Sadly, she did it. She died. It was bad tragedy. Then Peter few believed she was died and started switching side to side. The mystery is him disappeared. 
and him and speak walking for looking someone to bright. So well, so let me tell you that was that was a good try. Congratulations. That was a good try. Keep going. Continue on practicing. Good, excellent. What do you think of the Saul's uh, story uh, in one minute? Ladies, gentlemen, or does any of you have a, a story? In my case, I remember the okay, okay, yeah. When in 1992, maybe I think it's a uh, coral fix. Ah, you, you were uh, very young, right? Yeah, as, yeah. as me, <laughs> yeah. as me, as me. I, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not telling you that. In fact, I don't know how old you, you are. Okay, I remember that when when the eclipse is in the, the, the top, mm -hmm. I remember that the, the I saw a little bird that fall, fall in the in the in the in the floor mm -hmm. and and they uh, get uh, on your knees or something like that uh, but be the rodillas is get on your knees underneath uh, yeah, uh -huh, it's, underneath it's, something like that it, it, uh, uh, i remember that it is, that situation uh, was really weird for for me because uh, the the birds fly in in one moment in the other one moment they fall and and uh, como a dormirse rapidito ah went to, uh, <laughs> en el went to sleep went to sleep yeah, yeah but, but it, it's uh, de, de un momento a otro o sea no sé. it, it was it, it was it was really dark yeah that's yeah. what I, that is what yeah. i say and i remember that i was driving in like i said in san francisco in that city and uh, all cars were with the lights on because it was very very dark I, yeah. it was dark it was like like in the middle of night so that's maybe you saw the birds going back on the on, on their palitos <laughs> to sleep. Okay. okay, okay, good, excellent. Okay. So, excellent, fantastic. Uh, Aha, David, you want to say something real quickly? Yes, yes, Um, about the eclipse. <laughs> uh, I have never seen a, a total eclipse, mm. but my mom used to say about uh, the experience in 1991. Uh, yes. And it was exactly like the my classmate was saying. Uh, all the animals, were looking for their nest because they wanted to sleep and they thought that it was night. <laughs> oh, okay, so, yes. Um, this eclipse uh, that it was in 14, October 14, mm -hmm. um, I knew about it, this eclipse before. So I bought my my glasses, you can see. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can my, see, we can see that. Yeah, yeah, so I, I saw the eclipse and it was so nice, even though uh, it was not total eclipse, but it was so beautiful, and I enjoyed it. Okay, uh, uh, we are glad that you did it. We are really uh, happy that you did it. Okay, guys, so good. And I hope that, and I hope that the other of you have written your story, and you can read it, and you can retell the story to yourself. Okay, so that will be great. Oh, my birds. And they 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 think that there's daylight <laughs> because I'm talking. <laughs> okay, so yesterday we were discussing the past uh, the the past perfect. You know, the past perfect is an action that happened before another one, right? So, like I was saying, and we have an example over there, which are the subject, the 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 past tense of have, which is have, plus the past participle of the verb. Okay and the rest. 
Remember that this number, column number four, expert on the language, they, they don't call it a complement anymore. They call it the rest, okay? So like verb one, simple present, verb two, uh, uh, simple past, and verb three, uh, past participle. So this is the this is the uh, word order, uh, the word order of, of the of the past perfect as all of them. And then we were uh, we were saying that for example, uh, I was working out uh, that was from seven to eight p.m. But at six forty five p.m. something happened. So this action happened before the guy was working. So I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. So before he went to work out, he put the stuff in his locker. So that's an action that happened before. And we use, I have put, I have taken, I have spoken, I have been, I have seen, had, uh, had seen and so on. Okay. And I, I got a, a kind of confused with this one yesterday, but no, the sentences are correct. Said, I came back, someone stole my wallet. What was, which uh, event happened first earlier? So that someone stole the wallet, okay? So the sentences are correct. Yesterday, I don't know what, what I got kind of confused on that one. And the present perfect. So I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. So that, and then the, you had the chat over here. We're not going back because the time is running and I want you to go to discuss about the topics over there. So, but remember that we can use any, any uh, on the first column, we can use any type of past tense. We can use the past continue. We can use the simple past. As in, in the two sentences, when I came back, they were able to steal it. So these are past tenses, but the sentence that follows or the previous, uh, the previous uh, activity, it has to be in the past perfect. Well, the activity that happened before. Okay, so uh, this is on the document that you, that you have over there. And then also this one, along with the answers, okay, that you saw over there. So we're not going to discuss because we already did, okay? So it's, uh, uh, these are the activities that happen later. And column B is the activities that happen earlier than the one that column A. So, <clears throat> Do you have any questions about this, by the way? No, teacher. Okay. And uh, and uh, this is, a, it sounds like a joke, but it's not a joke, I'm serious. Okay, sometimes it happened to many of us, we cannot have, we cannot use the, uh, the, language with other people at home because maybe they is not speak English. But if they do, I suggest you to take advance. And if someone else in your house speak English, so speak in English at least one hour a day with that person or a friend of yours or a co-worker is at least one hour a day speaking with, of course, being respectful with others, okay? Okay, for example, if I had a friend in my work that is speak English, um, maybe I might talk to the others and say, I'm sorry, we need to improve our language. And sometimes you hear that we are speaking English, but we're not talking about you, okay? So being respectful with others. But if it's not, like I said to my students, I say, hello, hi, Pirulai. You know what's happened to me? Um, I, I, I was working and I had bought some tortillas, but uh, the tortillas never came. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's like a joke, but it's and seriously. In order to practice, to continue practice, because no hay el dicho como dijo mi hermano uh, 
lo bien aprendido nunca se olvida. Well, English, yes. We need, maybe you're not going to uh, forget it, but you need uh, your you need to be fluent. Okay, guys. And Power Learning Objective is uh, discussing for events. We have some vocabulary over there on some kind of definition. We'll do this together and then we'll go back to that. So let's find out the definitions of coincide coincidence. What is a coincidence? In fact, it sounds like a Spanish. What? Uh, Which? An extent event that the same totally connected. Uh -huh. So F, what, let, what letter, letter, F, letter, F. letter F. Yes. Letter F. Uh -huh. An expected events that seem to be connected. To be connected. To be connected. Yes. That's, that is. Okay. Disaster. Letter, letter D. D. Letter D. Event that causes a lot of suffering and our destruction. Yeah, you know, you see what's happening out of the world right now, man. Rain disasters, earthquakes, wars, man. It's it's kind of pretty. Um, it, it hurts. Okay, good. Uh, let me see the. Oh. Okay. Okay. Emergency. Letter G. 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 Letter G. Uh -huh. A sudden event requiring. Yes. Okay. Uh, lucky break. A. A. Letter A. 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 Unexpected. Event that is bringing good fortune. Good fortune. Ah. Yeah, if you get a, if you won the lot, if you win the lottery, that will be a lucky break. And expecting to win it by without buying tickets. Misfortune. What is age? Miss, age and age. what is an unlucky event? Unlucky event. Yeah. Unlucky event. And mystery. Letter C. Something and, puzzling or unexplained. Okay. Yeah, something yeah. puzzling and explaining. Right. Predicted man. What it will be? P. A difficult situation with uh, okay, no B. solution. Uh, uh -huh, the B. A difficult situation with no obvious solution. And the last one, triumph. Letter, I letter E. I forgot e. to check. E. How do you, uh -huh. e. Yes, success. a great success, success or achievement. achievement. What is achievement? Logros. Yeah, logros. For example, one of your achievements, guys, is uh, that you speak English. And that's, yeah. that's good. That's good. <laughs> Algún día. <Yeah. laughs> Algún día, calma. <laughs> you know, uh, it's, uh, we always, uh, we never stop learning. And, uh, you know, now the, even um, you notice that I feel more comfortable with you than the previous week, that the first week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been with many people all my life. In fact, I, ha I have worked, I have presented many good artists like Vicente Fernandez, Jose Jose, Tigre del Norte. I have spoken in front of a lot of people, but you, you always get uh, nervous at the beginning of something, you know, and used to talk to, to work with the students, to teach English, but as Sometimes you get nervous how it is. So, and that's, that's, we, that's why I, what I wanted to say with this one is that you never stop learning. We always learn something. And this, and this kind of exercise is really good to, for you to increase um, your vocabulary, okay? In fact, you should read or listen to eBooks when you have time and there are on the public domain. Um, 
and uh, they, they will help you a lot, okay? So, uh, but it has to be uh, the level according to your level. Okay, guys, so we're going to go on the reading. Uh, I will send you about 20 minutes, no more. And uh, I show you the document. What are you going to do? Please talk as much as you can. You're not going to be evaluating yourself, okay? Now you're going to be working um, and discussing about these topics. Oh, everybody is on the online today. Good, excellent. Because I was just missing one, okay? But uh, so please, uh, everybody has the document? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, I will I send have... Okay, I'll, I, I'll, I'll send you 20 minutes and please. And I will get to one of the one of the rooms, so the breakout rooms, and I'll be there. But uh, I will just I will be an inspector. I, I will not interfere because the this task is for you, not for me. Okay. And why I'm going to be there and stay there because last times that I was running from room to room, so my computer got stuck. And that's and we I lost the videos, <laughs> so that's why. Okay, so good luck and please try to do your best. Okay, uh, around twenty minutes. Uh, manually create. Oh, I forgot to. Let me see. I forgot to make the rooms. Uh, twenty and three. If if we have if we are in trios, so how many rooms? Let's say ninety. Um, six. Six rooms, right? Thank you. I'm not good at mathematics. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. I did it again. Okay. Now, yes. It's uh will be yeah. Uh 20 minutes. You should be getting the invitation. Okay, you, you're getting the invitations. Go on, please accept the invitation. Se me desapareció el cuadro, teacher. Se le desapareció, Carlos. Let me see if you're assigned. Um, Carlos, Carlos, Carlos. Yeah, accept the invitation because on some of the rooms it's just one, and one cannot be. Uh, Carlos, I don't. Oh, I saw you. 
Uh, let me, okay. Dice que no se ha unido, Carlos. Let me, what can I do here? No, no mover. Well, I'll move you to another, Carlos. Let's see, you're in room. I'll move you to room three. I will move, Luis, I will move you because you're alone to number four. Claudia, Isabel, please accept. Uh, Claudia, I will assign you to room two. Please accept the invitation. Isabel, I will send you to room two also. Please accept the invitation. Marielos, I said the invitation, Marcos, because you're on the main room right now. Marcos, do you get an invitation? Luis? Time is running back, so please accept and go and discuss. Marco, you had invitation on room five, on room three. Luis and Renato, is Isaura is waiting for you. On room five.
Hi, Silvia. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Saura. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, Silvia, Silvia is sick. Ah, okay. She cannot talk. Oh, uh -huh. yes. She sent a message. Exactly. Is Saura. Yeah. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Do you have the document that we start uh, um, discussing? Yes, in my cell phone. Ah, okay. Okay, but I'm going to be here. I should be like uh, just watching you guys, but um, let me share the document with you and um, uh, we can start doing the activities, okay? It's because I cannot go from one room to another or my computer got stuck, okay? Okay. Uh, let, let me share the document for you. I, I have the, the document. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, the story, no? The... Uh, yes, the reading. The read is for a story. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Ah, okay, but but anyway, let me let me uh, let me share it with you, and we can start discussing. Okay, so okay, so uh, let's go with a step number three. Okay, I read the article, taking turns. Okay. Okay, uh, Francisco, you start tabloids. Ah, uh, okay. Tabloids are newspapers that specialize in news about people. The stories are often sensational and leave the reader wondering. Could this really be true? Okay, good job. Uh, Isaura, uh, Brasilia, Brazil. Okay, Brasilia, Brazil, after Gilberto Arbaljo, a million dollar lottery winner told reporters that his luck had come from a particular fish in a park found more than 200 other Brazilians spoke up with similar stories they had proved. Uh, they have they have Robert uh-huh okay. Robert uh-huh Robert this fish and soon after had won a prize. Also, this magic fish is now under study and of limit to the public. Many people have won money simply by rubbing its picture. Okay. And what is this story about in, in your own words? Uh, uh, this story about uh, is is to uh, tried from one uh, man uh, the winner uh, the lottery mm -hmm. because he he has a uh, uh, one uh, fish particular fish. And, oh, okay. Uh -huh, and the other people talk about this spoke out this about the similar story. Uh, how is the fish is the magic? I understand, no? Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh huh. It's called, it's called how the uh come on, uh is the good look. Okay, great, fantastic. Uh, uh is Aura anything that you would like to add? Remember that we're retelling the story in our own words. I think the same is a history of uh one lottery. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever won a lottery or something, guys? No. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Only Lotin. Only Lotin Raspa y Gana. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. And okay, the Saura said not yet. But uh, you had the hope that the the feeling that you're going to win the lottery one day. Okay, Francisco, the next one. Cleveland, Ohio, US. Okay, Cleveland, Ohio, U.S. Bruce Salmer, to thirty-two, is literally five five proof. He, proof. His skin, uh -huh. uh, proof, five proof. His skin can withstand flames without pain or damage, and his looks can take in oxygen from the smoke air. Medical. Uh, called uh, okay, thank you. Medical scientists are amazing that a human could have 
88 of these qualities left alone but al true Salmer sees himself as just a regular guy he owns rescue a family of, of four from a burning building after five church had given up up okay great Francisco is Saura in your own words we tell the story or say something about the story. Uh -huh, Isabra? I, I think uh, talk about the scientist invest to the human. <laughs> yeah, you're uh -huh. doing great. Continue if you want to say something else. Okay, so scientists uh, want to investigate about something. And there was uh, somebody or something about fireproofs, right? Uh, yes, uh, three, uh, Salmer. Yeah, this uh, man is the, the, uh, four, the five fantastic. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, it's, it's, mm. for me, it's superhuman. Uh, yeah, you know, fireproof, man, it has got to be more than superhuman. <laughs> yeah, superhuman, yeah. exactly. Okay. Yes, okay. It's kind of with, without, not the Lord, it's without pain or damage. Or damage, or right. Pain. Yeah, or damage, definitely it is. Um, Isaura Nakura, Nakuru, Kenya. Okay. Nakuru, Kenya, as tourists look on in amazement as space spaceship. Uh -huh, sp uh -huh, a spaceship. Spaceship. A spaceship. Okay. Kid kidnap <laughs> kidnapped. 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 Kidnap. Kidnap. Eleven elephant from a game preserve. The driver had stopped at a watering hole and the tourist were watching the elephant when a gigantic spaceship mm -hmm. appeared. The ship shot down a powerful beam of orange like that. No, no. Suck, suck up the uh -huh. elephant up. and flew off. Park official confirmed that 11 full, full ground elephant had disappeared. Mm -hmm. Okay, Francisco, your turn and your own words. Yeah, uh, I understand that Historia talked about the one uh, a spaceship as mm -hmm. uh, took or well elephants. Um, and when uh, when one tourist look at this, what happened? Um, it, and the, the spaceship, I don't know. Um, uh, XP, what, what happened this? Ah, in Kenya. Uh -huh. In Kenya, these, these spaceships, the socket, the elephant, 12, uh, full drop, and the supper. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, in fact, there is a, there is a picture of a, list, a illustration of it over here, if you ah, see. Ah, yeah. Uh -huh. Exactly. And this is suck up. Uh, the light, the light beam came down and sucked up the elephants and took uh -huh. it uh, to the spaceship. And here are the tourist guys uh, looking at it. Uh, and but these elephants sound like I wanna go, I wanna go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want to go over there. Good, excellent. Yeah, it's excellent. science fiction for me. Uh, yeah, it's science fiction, right? Science that's fiction. right. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. It's science fiction, though. Um, well, but they are, have you heard the news that they are saying that in, in somewhere in the United States, they found uh, like uh, like uh, extra E.T. something, like an extraterrestrial man. And, um, but it's not the one that Roscoe back in the 1971 or something. It's like brand new. So yeah. uh, they, people believe that they are, and there might be, uh, I'm, I'm not going to discuss about religious and anything, but if, it, if God is mighty, mm -hmm. we live here, there might be other people and 
uh, are around the world. Okay, uh, Isaura, uh, Monterrey, Mexico. Okay, <clears throat> Monterrey, Mexico. As mm. Tony doctors say that hundreds of people who have been old and sick became young and healthy again by drinking from a water fountain in a public park. Mm -hmm. Park officials removed the fountain because crowds were becoming a danger. Yet the people who had drunk its water remained young and healthy and made others young and healthy too. Too. Simple by hugging them. Mm -hmm. Simply by hugging and giving a big hug. And and I think the reading it was it was Francisco, right? Not you. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Francisco, we will not take the 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 honor from you to read the paragraph to us. Uh, what? Uh, what? Mex what uh, Mon Monterrey, Mexico. Uh, again. No, it, it was it was your turn, Narisaura, and that's what yes, we said. I know, okay. I know, because no problem. <laughs> read, it, read it again. Okay, Monterrey, Mexico. Astounded, doctors say that hundreds of people who have been old and sick became young and healthy again by drinking from a water fountain and public park. Park officials removed the fountain because crowd were becoming a danger. Yet the people who uh, had drunk it, it is water remain young and healthy, young and healthy, and made other young and healthy too, simply by hugging them. Okay, yeah. great, fantastic. I think time is running and uh, it's our, and you don't words in a minute or so, uh, the story about. Uh, fontaine that made people young and healthy. Ah, so I am like, well, I wouldn't like to say my age, uh, but you know me, you know, I got a white hair. That's kind of <laughs> in English. Why me here? Me too. So, and so if, I, if we go over there and I will include Francisco and drink a dog water, what will happen to us? Ah, well, okay. Um, and the people, they drink the water. They remain, ah. Uh -huh, uh, sick, uh, became young and healthy again. Yes. I'll become, I'll become a handsome guy, young as it was, <laughs> as I was, as I was, and my diabetes and my high pressure will go, high pressure will go away. Oh, I might, I might look after the, the thing over there. Okay, guys, uh, good job. I advise you to continue reading and allow a voice for you, and you're on the right path, I mean, on the right camino, okay, with your English. Okay. Congratulations. Okay, let's go back to uh, let's go back to our Hello, everybody's coming. We just uh, wait for everyone to come over here and I'll uh, I'll take attendance. How was the activity, guys? Was it good? Were you discussing? Ruth Marielos, Renato, Luis, Raul Antonio, Silvia, David, Isabel? Was it good? Raise your hand. Yes, teacher. Okay, Isabel, thank you. The rest, just put a manito over there on the on the screen and I can see, it. oh, good Sylvia, thank you. Hey, Eda, good, excellent. Marielos, Claudia. Okay, thank you, Claudia, good, 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 good. 
you know, every time that you got uh, the chance to read in English, so please do it, okay? You're on the right way. Let me tell you that I see that you're capable of speak English and improve your English, okay? Let me just take a, uh, uh, the, the attendance. And opening the the attendant list. Okie dokie. Uh, one second, I think it's something is happening over here. I can find it. Hey guys, let me look for the I can find the list, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Let me try the last time. You you are on on that. Uh yeah, I, I I'm clicking on the on the attendance list, but it doesn't appear. It doesn't appear. So let me try last time because I don't want you to have over here. And uh, I'll take the the that I will take a picture or something of your names, okay? So that I can um, let me try last time. If it's not, I will take a picture of your names and I will do it later on. No, no, I will not have you here any longer. Just let me, um, let me just, uh, no, just a picture. Uh, we are 18 over there, so all the names are there. So just let me take a picture and we'll say goodbye. Oh, the names. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll do it uh, uh, after you left. Okay.
Okay, guys. So I'll just look for it uh, right after you leave. So have a great night. See you next week. Uh, please work on the platform, on the tasks on the platform. Okay, rest and have a nice weekend. A nice weekend. Glad God bless you. Bye bye. 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 Good Take night. care. Good night. Good night.